Hello, my name is Mr. Dog, and so we're going to look at the Tina Trump deck and expand it. Now, you may be thinking, Tina Trump, what? In 2022, that's trash. It's actually won a couple of tournaments and expanded on Limitless. I'm actually using the exact list created by someone called Strong. So, shout out to them. So, the attack we're going to be using most of the time is Calamitous Slash, does 160 base damage, but if our opponent's active Pokemon has any damage counters on it already, this attack does 80 more damage. And we can get damage counters on our opponent's active Pokemon using Zigzagoon with its Headbutt Tantrum ability. That allows us to put one damage counter on any of our opponent's Pokemon. And we are able to use the Zigzagoons with recopies of Scoop Up Net, which allow us to put the Zigzagoons back into our hand. They also stop us from bench locking ourselves, which can be a, sometimes a problem with this deck. So with one Zigzagoon ping, we're essentially doing 250 damage, but we can boost this damage output further using Choice Band, which allows us to do 30 more damage to our opponent's active GX and EX Pokemon. This can allow us to do 280 damage, which is enough to knock out ADP, which we do in this video. We also have Choice Belt. It allows us to do 30 more damage to our opponent's active Pokemon V. So it's going to help us knock out Pokemon V Star, which have a maximum HP of 280. Finally, we have Fighting Fury Belt. It lets us do 10 more damage and gives us 40 more HP. So it can help us tank a hit if we need it. As a backup attacker, we have Nag Gus, mostly for its GX attack. If we have Double Dragon energy attached and another energy, we can turn all our prize cards face up and take two prize cards. This can be really helpful for shortening the game. We may only have to take two knockouts on two two prizes, and then we can just use this GX attack to win the game. It's especially useful against decks like Shadow Rider, which try and force you to hit into their VMAXs, then they heal the VMAX of Ace Roller. This essentially avoids those shenanigans. It's also really useful against single prize decks. And our final attacker is Dredigan, for its revenge. It does 40 damage, but if one of our Pokemon was knocked out last turn, it does 120 more damage. So we do 160 damage, which is enough to knock out a Dedenne. And it's actually a really efficient attack, because if you can power it up with a Double Dragon Energy, and it's a single prize attacker, so we can make the prize trade more in our favour if we need to. We are able to attack on the first turn with our Tina Chomp. We need to attach a Double Dragon Energy, which counts as every single type of energy. And we, and we can usually find them with Goose Mahala, which lets us get a special energy, a tall card, and a stadium card. And we can use Tafu Coco Prism Star's ability, Dance of the Ancients. Allows us to attach one Lightning Energy to two of our benched Pokemon. And to help get that Lightning Energy in the discard pile, we play four copies of Battle Compressor, which lets us discard any three cards from our deck. It's also useful for discarding supporters if we have a V Seeker in our hand, and also for thinning down our deck so we can draw into cards we need. Because we play lots of tech cards that we don't need in every situation, that we can just discard with this if we need to. We play Pseudo Wudo with its Roadblock ability. It limits our opponent's bench to four. This is really useful against decks that rely on having a high bench size, like Palkia, Serena, or Turbo Dark. We play Girafferig for its Get Lost attack. We can put two cards from our opponent's discard pile into the Lost Zone. This is good for the Storm matchup because they like to use a Lusamine loop, but if we Lost Zone one of their Lusamines, they can't do that. It's also good for Lost Zoning one of supporters, such as Father, because we only play four special energy, so it's not good if they get rid of all of our special energy. It's also good against the Dialga V-Star Donk deck because we can just Lost Zone their energies to stop them powering up their Tina Chomp. Stall also sometimes plays Snorlax with its block ability, which stops you from retreating, but we do play one copy of Switch Cart as a counter to that, as switching isn't counted as retreating, and it also heals 30 damage so we can tank a hit if we need to. We also play one copy of Raihan for the mid to late game. If one of our Pokemon was knocked out, we can attach basic energy from the discard pile to one of our Pokemon and we can search for any card we like. And this synergizes really well with Great Catcher. Because if we use Raihan, we obviously can't use a Guzma. But Great Catcher allows us to gust onto benched GX and DX Pokemon. So really good for knocking out a Dzene or a Tapu Lele for an easy two prize cards. Okay, so I'm going to keep the introduction short and sweet. Let's get on to some gameplay. Okay, we're going second. We can maybe get a knockout on this ADP, which would be really strong for us. It just depends if we have anything key priced. We'll put this down. We do have the Coco, which is really important. And we have one Tina Trump priced. Put this down. And I think we get the Tina Trump now because we have the Double Dragon Energy in hand already. Attach this, and we'll go for a Crobat. So we need a Floatstone way to get the energy, some Lightning Energy in the discard pile, and a Zigzagoon Pink and Choice Belt. So there's a Zigzagoon Pink. 
we will have to discard a double dragon energy, um, but I think that's okay because uh, we've got all four in the deck anyway. So um, grab a Dedenne. Okay, so we can actually get it here. We have to scoop up this. Then tap you for a Guzma Holla. Go to this. And uh, I guess we'll get rid of a Zigzagoon. Grab this. Don't really need that much else. But maybe we'll get something off the prize cards, who knows. That's just two here. And then we'll Calamitous slash the knockout. So they haven't even been able to alter creation. So that's really good for us. And even if they did, we'd be able to Pokemon Ranger. So they're not really going to be able to do that much damage to us. They have to two shot us. Well, they played Duraladon. That's kind of annoying. We don't really have a way to deal with that because we need special energy to attack, really. It's probably why Echoing Horn would be pretty good in this list. I think I've seen some lists of N, but it was eventually cut out for consistency. Okay, so it might not matter if they just bench a bunch of Pokemon, we can just use them around it. Okay, cool, there's going to Intrepid Sword. I honestly KO this now, Guzma this up. Zigzagoon pink. And Calamitous Slash for the knockout. So we might get end to one, which wouldn't be great, but they don't have any attackers set up. So we're in a pretty decent position here. Okay, sending up the Zashian. Crobat. If they venture the Dene, then we can just Guzma onto that and win the game unless they end us. They're getting another ADP. I guess they can kind of use that to tank if they need to. Okay, Cynthia. That's cool. Okay, another Intrepid Sword. So we could compress our research and use the Bee Seeker. That's probably not a bad idea. Get rid of the egg, research, and get rid of Giraffe. We don't really need it in this matchup. So hopefully I can find the Scoop Up Net and then we can just win the game. Okay, there we go, that's game. We've got Comp Search for Scoop Up Net. So this game just shows how powerful Tina Trump can still be, even though it's a quite an old deck. And they haven't even taken any prizes. Okay, we're going second. We're starting off with a Tina Trump, but it's not always that great because often we want this on the bench so we can tap your Coco to it. But it'll be okay if we have another Tina Chomp in the deck. We're playing against Drake Assault, potentially a difficult matchup unless we get the Donk this turn. I think I will do a deck search first for the Quick Ball. Okay, so the other Tina Chomp is in the deck, that's good. Grab this, and we'll use Mahala. Stormy Mountain, Double Dragon Energy, and Lotus Stone. That seems 
fine to me. Put this down and we'll grab the other Tina Chomp. Attach for our turn. Attach this to here. And I might get a Zigzagoon ping off now. Um, or we could go for a Dene. Um, that seems unnecessarily aggressive though, because we'll probably get all search off the Crobat anyway. So we just need a Tapu and an Energy in the discard, and we should be able to um, stonk them right here. Okay, so we're just missing an energy in the discard pile. So I'm just going to go ahead and did any right here, I think. No reason not to get another Zigzagoon ping off, I guess. So just need to find a battle compressor, really, or a quick ball and a lightning energy. Okay, perfect. That will get us the donk. So we'll just got this. Tapu. Onto this. Drag this onto here. Then we'll clamor to slash for the KO. There we go. That's how you deal with Drake Assault VMAX. Okay, we're going second. Um, should be able to get a knockout on this run raid, which is good because it will hurt their draw power. So, Stormy Mountain. We don't actually need to use the Calamitous Slash. We can use Lily Attack if we get two Zigzagoon Pinks. Grab this, we have one Tina Trump prized. Attach this. Honestly, I might go down that route. It seems a bit easier to pull off. That's one Zigzagoon ping already. Onto Dene. Now we can Zigzagoon ping again. Then get a knock on this. Giraffe. Irida. Playing something like Suicune or Palkia. Okay. Oh, they're playing the Dugong deck. So I might want to go for Guzma and knock out this to hurt their draw power some more. Because I think this Octillery is their main draw power. Or we could just knock out this Crobat, that seems fine as well. Honestly, I might, I might as well go for the Crobat, since it's already up here. So, get rid of this. Grab a Tapu for Guzma Holla. Both of our float stones priced. Okay, that's kind of awkward. Um, should be fine though. I guess we'll grab this. It could come in useful for tanking hits. And we need to get a Zigzagoon ping off as well. Uh, maybe we'll get this then. It's fine, we only need one Zigzagoon ping. We should be able to get that. Okay, perfect. Take two more prize cards. We need to take one more prize card and then we can just use then we can just use the Nagas GX attack and that's both of our float stones. But as you can see an issue of this deck is that we bench lock a Pokemon so we can we do often bench lock ourselves. Gonna get end to three, that's honestly fine because I think this hand was dead anyway. We did have a Juniper in the, 
this cup also could have used V-Seeker, but we get another V-Seeker anyway. I kind of don't want to Juniper away a double Dragon Energy though. That is our last one. I kind of want them to knock out the Zigzagoon, to be fair. So like this. They could just be stalling. Okay, go for a Guzma Holler. Okay, there we go. Okay guys, that's going to wrap up the video. So let me know what you think of this deck. Do you think this deck will still be good in a few months? Let me know down in the comments below. And also, um, please suggest any deck ideas you might have. I'll be sure to check them out. And please remember to like, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!